And yes, in uh, in the time of of uh, the about you know seven eight hundred years before Christ, the nation of Israel as an entity ceased to exist. Okay, the nation, what's called Israel, it first came into existence under King under the under Joshua. Okay. So they had Israel, but it was a collection of 12 tribes. So they had like, you know, 12 lands that they had a confederation, you could say, which was called Israel. This became a kingdom that they had a king, first under King Saul, and then under David, and then under Solomon. So these were three kings, Saul, David, and Solomon, under whom Israel existed as a complete nation with 12 tribes. But then after Solomon, Israel broke into two pieces, okay? One was the tribe, the 10 tribes, which are the tribes of Israel, the Israelite people. Israel, Israel is the name of a person. Israel is the name of Jacob, okay? Who was a grandson of Abraham. And he had 12 sons and they became the 12 tribes of Israel. That's where that 12 tribes comes from. So at the time of the Assyrian Empire, around, you know, 7th, 8th century BC, they were carried away out of the land that God had given to them after the conquest of Canaan under Moses and Joshua. So they were carried away from that land. And the nation of Israel ceased to exist, which was then comprised of only 10 tribes, not 12 tribes. Okay, The two tribes which formed a separate kingdom were the tribe of Judah and Benjamin. And Judah is, was the southern kingdom of the original 12 tribe nation. And they formed the kingdom of Judah. It, it was no longer called Israel, the southern kingdom. It was called the kingdom of Judah. That's where the word Jew comes from, that they are the children of Judah. And, you know, later on, Benjamin also got associated and and uh, and, and piled into the same uh, collectively called Judah or Jews. OK, so primarily the word Jew, biblically speaking, actually applies to only the descendants of one tribe, which are the children of Judah. Okay? They call Yehudis. That is the word Yehuda from which we get the English uh, transliteration Judah. And the Yehudis, they're still called, the Jews are still called Yehudis in the Middle East. And they are the people that we call Jews. Okay, so let's get this, this biblical terminology correct. That all the children of Israel or Jacob, they are all Israelites. Okay, so Israel, Israel was 12 tribes. But all Israelites are not Jews, because Jews are primarily only one tribe, the tribe of Judah, although Benjamin was also later became associated with, with Judah. Okay, So let's say two tribes were Jews, the rest of the tribes, ten tribes were Israelites. So people say that at the time of the invasion of Assyria, that these ten tribes were, you know, carried away captive to the eastern parts, say, some parts east of, of uh, Israel. And then, you know, where they went, nobody knows. And that is absolutely not correct. Because as we live in the days of Jesus, we can read about the people that were in the land, which was primarily the land of Judah at that time. They were people from every tribe there. Okay, for example, you know, when you read in the book of Luke, you know, that the uh, Mary and Joseph, when Jesus was born as an infant, they went into the temple, which they were required to do. And there was the prophet, you know, he was of the tribe of Simeon. Okay, he held Jesus in his arms. And there was a prophetess named Anna, and she was of the tribe of Asher. Okay, At the time of the book of Acts, we are told, you know, that all the people from the 12 tribes are present. As a matter of fact, in the days of Nehemiah, which came after the Babylonian captivity. This I'm going through some history which you may not be familiar with, but you should know this is biblical history. That at the time of Nehemiah, which was maybe like, you know, 400 years or so before Christ, they did a census 
they basically made a record of all the people of all the different tribes. So they were all there, all present there. They then dwelt in the land, which was the kingdom of Judah. But the people that were living there, they were all of the children of Israel from all the tribes. So now this idea that you know, these 10 tribes somehow got lost somewhere, it is not biblical. Okay, Even like I think it is uh, James or uh, the apostle Peter in the, one of their letters, they says, you know, greetings to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad. It doesn't say the two tribes and then, you know, 10 tribes have been lost, so we should no, it says to the 12 tribes that are, so this is after Jesus. So the tribes of Israel, they continued the nation of Israel, which became the nation of Israel after Solomon, not composing of, consisting of 12 tribes, but of 10 tribes, that ceased to exist. But, but the 12 tribes themselves were still in that land. Okay, they were in the land which came to be known as the kingdom of Judah. So these tribes have never really been lost. Okay, they've always existed in that region, which is the present day region of Israel. And some parts around Israel in the Middle East, they've always remained there. Yes, a lot of them went away to the eastern uh, parts like in Assyria and Babylon, which is Iraq and Persia and even down to India and up towards Europe and Russia. So they scattered. That's what the Bible says to the tribes scattered abroad. So they basically went all over the world. But that does not mean that we don't, that these 12, 10 tribes, they just disappeared somewhere. It never happened. Okay, these 10 tribes were always there, including with the other two tribes, the tribe of the Judah, which are the Yehudis, which are the Jews, okay? So all of the 12 tribes of Israel, they have continued to exist in the land of Israel until this very day. Now, the genealogies which identified who was from which tribe, those are no longer available to us. So who are the children of Israel? Let's not just call them Jews because as I told you that Israel had 12 sons and only one of those technically are Jews, which is the children of Judah alone. The, all the other, for example, Moses came from the tribe of Levi, and they were called Levites. Okay, the the children of uh, Joseph or uh, or Ephraim were called Ephraimites or Manasites. You know, all these kind of so Simeonites. Simeon was the son of Reubenites. So they had all the tribes were identified according to their father, and from that one father, Judah, came the Jews. So therefore, this teaching that, you know, there are 10 lost tribes that are going to be found someday, it is not biblical. And lastly, before I go, I want to also clarify that there is no religion, according to the Bible, that is, should be called Judaism. Because Judah did not give the law to the nation of Israel. The law came through Moses, who was a Levite. Therefore, it's called the Levitical law. It is not Judah. So there is really is no religion called Judaism. Okay, the Old Testament is the law of Moses, who was a Levite. It was a Levitical religion. It was not a Jewish or Judah, Judaic religion. So see, there's so many myths and lies that are in the world. As I told you that the world is lies, and these lies are no less in the world of religion. There are actually more and greater that people are just have no idea what they're talking about when they start talking about the Jews and about the Israel this and Israel that. I just shake my head and I go, you know what, no point even in discussing or, you know, debating or whatever, because, you know, you get into doubtful disputations with people and it wastes on my time and it wastes their time. Why we even bother? But I did want to clarify for you that, you know, when you study things, keep them, study them in light of what the Bible teaches. So Judaism, if there was such a religion, it would be Christianity because the only Jew that ever gave us any kind of doctrine or religion is Jesus Christ. Therefore, that is Christianity. But the Old Testament religion of the nation of Israel, it was not Judaism. See how they keep telling you Judaism, Judaism, Judaism. Even the terminology in this world is all wrong. Jew, 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 they keep saying. But, you know, Jews were only one tribe out of the 12. That's it, primarily one. You could say maybe two, but that's it. And, you know, these people, even into the days of Christ, they identified themselves according to their tribe. Even Paul, 
the apostle said that he was of the tribe of Benjamin. He didn't call himself a Jew, although at that time of Jesus Christ, all of the people of Israel that were living there, no matter what tribe they came from, they were loosely identified as Jews, okay? They were, they were all called Jews. So when we read the word Jew, especially in the Gospel of John, it doesn't make a distinction as to which tribe they were from because at that point in time, they were basically all called Jews. And, uh, but that does not mean that they were actually all Jews or Yehudis because they were not, they were from different tribes. And so where this doctrine comes from that, you know, these 10 tribes have been lost and someday they're going to be found and this will happen and that will happen. Sorry, it's not in my Bible. And that's all I wanted to say today was that, you know, hey, terminology is important. And uh, when we start talking about different uh, doctrines or different regions and different peoples and different names, we should go back to the Bible and make sure that it is to be found in the Bible. Thanks for listening. This is Paul Sandu.